Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler from AppFindAndAppleWisdom.com here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak your iOS 5.1 device. But wait guys, don't do anything yet, because we highly recommend not updating to iOS 5.1 if you have um, the iPhone 4S or iPad 2, because there's not a jailbreak out for that yet. There's only jailbreaks out for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, um, the original iPad, and the iPod Touch. So guys, if you have an iPad 2 or an iPhone 4S, um, do not update to iOS 5.1. Stick with your current iOS and your current jailbreak because iOS 5.1, there is no current jailbreak available. And remember guys, unless you really want iOS 5.1, this is a tethered jailbreak. So that means you're going to have to, um, uh, whenever you reboot it, you're going to have to use your computer. So you do probably don't want to get this unless you really need the features inside iOS 5.1. So with that warning, now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, original iPad, or iPod Touch using Red Snow 0.9.10b6. Um, now the link to download it is uh, right in the description. And now I'm going to be going through the steps. So once you download and run uh, Red Snow, you're going to put your iPhone 4, iPod Touch, etc. Uh, into the DFU mode. You're going to click Jailbreak on Red Snow and just follow the steps, uh, finding all the necessary firmware of your device. And it will install Cydia. You're going to click Next. Um, and then you'll see text on your device, and that means that it's working. Um, after you're done, you're going to see that the Cydia icon is actually white. It's not shown up as Cydia yet. This means that you need to um, uh, tether boot your device to be able to load up all the jailbreaking features and be able to load up your device itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it into DFU mode. Uh, click in Red Snow. Click Just Boot. And this is what it's going to do is it's going to uh, perform a tethered boot and it'll bring it to the home screen. You'll be able to use Cydia and use all the iOS 5.1 jailbroken features. Now remember guys, we highly recommend not updating to iOS 5.1 if you're really big on jailbreaks. Uh, only if you really need iOS 5.1 and you really want a jailbreak should you perform this because this is not untethered. It is a tethered jailbreak. All right, guys, once again, uh, I hope you found this video informative. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like it. Uh, share it if your friends maybe want a jailbreak as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. See you guys later. I'm Howard from AppFindAndAppleWisdom.com. Bye.